Hi everyone, Lizzie, thanks for stopping by. So I've got an unbagging to do today and this one has a little box in it, as you can hear. And these have come to me from the wonderful people at gbfke.com. Uh, I've done quite a few unboxings, unbaggings for them in the past and I love their products. So yeah, these are a couple of new things that I thought, oh, I'll have to get those. So we have one, ooh, a diamond painting ship. And this one is a little project, so I'll take that out carefully so you can't get any sneak peeks. <laughs> okay, uh, yeah, huge thank you to uh, GBFK for sending me these. It's uh, lovely of you to do so, and I do love showing the products to you and showing you new bits and pieces that you might not have seen. Um, there are lots of special offers on at the moment on their website. Uh, there is a 13% off and if you spend over, I think it's 39 euros or it could be dollars. I'll have to double check. I can't read my writing. You know what my, what my writing's like. <laughs> um, then you get a free gift. And if you spend over $59 or euros, you'll have to check out the website. I will put some little screenshots so you can see it properly. And then you get two free gifts. Yay! We like free gifts. And shipping is free over 59 euros. So, yeah, we like shipping and free gifts and money off. Always makes it a little bit more fun shopping, doesn't it? Well, it does for me anyway. So, let's have a look at this one first. Um... I say the new, this is new to me. I do believe that these have been out possibly from last Christmas. Um, I'm not sure if I've seen anybody unbox one, but I just wanted to get one and have a look. Uh, and it is light up, so I think you can see there. It's not a bunny though, it's not a bunny. We're past Easter now, um, I'm past uh, bunnies. And it says cartoon LED diamond painting. Child's Wisdom at Fingertips. Mm, okay, so that's our outside and this is the inside. Okay, so it's a cartoon LED diamond painting LED lamp. Okay, oh, and it looks like we've got this one. The Wolof, it's a Wolof, it's a Wolof. Oh, what programme was that off? Can't remember. So this one's wanting to jump out on its own. So let's get it out. Oh, it's opening always round. Look, let's get it out and have a look. Now, I do believe that these are musical as well. Um, from what I read, it's telling me it's 156 by 42 by 155 millimeters. Okay, Ooh. they do come in a few different ones. All oh, right, okay, so we've got two lots of drills. So I wonder if that's because it's in two parts. We've got our LED lights there, and that looks like it's the one with the two AAA batteries. Uh, pen, butt and wax, and a little uh, stash of brick seal bags there. Oh, this looks interesting. Oh, I do like getting my little tool kits. Look, we've got another little screwdriver as well. Let's have a look in here. I do like looking at all the bits, seeing what we get. It's the only time I ever do any DIY and building because anything else that I attempt in the house, like putting up shelves and things, just bleh, completely, yeah, uh, yeah. No, I, I'm I'm not good at uh, that sort of thing. So yeah, look, I love these little screwdrivers. I've got one in my handbag, one in my drawer upstairs, one in my drawer downstairs because they're like little Phillips head look cross uh, head screwdrivers. Very very handy. And we've got two little. Um, sticky pads, I presume that's either for sticking it to the well, you usually get those for sticking them to the wall, so I'm not quite sure what that would be. Um, looks like these are all the uh, just take that extra bit of plastic off there bits for putting it together, and they've all got covers on them. Um, yeah, covers probably both sides to stop them getting scratched. Let's just have a look. Oh, uh, yeah, that's got a cover on that side. And then we've got, I think, I don't know whether that'll be a cover on that side or not. We'll investigate when we put it together. Once I've diamond painted, I will uh, um, show you how to put it together. Or we'll have a go at putting it together. To together. <laughs> We're going to put it together, together. 
Okay, it's got the little, little stanchions, the little posts, and then the little plastic screws that you use your screwdriver for. So, okay. Now, I do believe that that is the little, yeah, it is, it's musical, look. It's a musical mechanism there. So, okay. Right, and we have our beautiful wolf. Look at him. All in special crystals. Wow. Oh, he's going to be lovely. Oh, and he's double-sided as well. Oh, I didn't know he was double-sided. Oh, that's good then. Okay. So, he's got his cover on so that uh, he's covering up the sticky. Uh, it looks like we've got quite a few special shapes on this one as well. Okay. So, that's our wolf. And then we have... Oh, look at this. So, is that the base of it this is going to take a bit of doing me thinks um so right let me look at the instructions and see what we've got oh picture instructions as well they're always the best ones for me right okay so music box installation steps so we start off we have this here uh, oh no, not that bit. Looks like you can also get an owl and a bunny rabbit with an Easter egg. So quite a couple of uh, different ones there in these. So we're going to fix the music box to the acrylic board with screws. So I'm presuming that's that one. So that's going to fit. Oh yes, look, you can see all the little screw holes all around here. Okay, so he's going to slot presume that way around yes no Ooh. oh possibly it goes that way up <laughs> that would mean this the holes will match up a little bit so that goes like that possibly and then oh it's telling us install the battery all oh, right and then you put the lights and the battery on there and then light, wrap the light around the installation. And then I will put in, unless that goes, so maybe I did have it the right way up in the first place. Maybe that goes that way. And then, ah, right, I think that will then go, oh no, don't know how this goes. Just talk amongst yourselves while I have a look at this. <laughs> Okay, because it spins as well. I think you wind it round and it spins. So, right, I bet you're all shouting at me saying, Liz, it does this, it does this. I know you need to put your little stanchions and things on as well, look, to get all that done. And then you diamond paint that bit. Okay, so... I wonder if that bit... Maybe go, no, that doesn't go on there, does it? Oh, does it? Okay. Oh, well, I'm going to have fun putting this one together. I can't see that that is diamond painted, so it looks as though it's still got one of the little things in. Just get rid of the plastic there, look. If you do get any of those little plastic bits, just push them out. Um, I am going to throw that away as well. So yeah, it looks like you've just got like the ghost of the pattern there. I presume actually when you take this top cover off, let's see if I can get it. It will be a lot more colourful. Yeah, look, you can see. So you've got that uh, on the that side. Oops, not done that very well, but it'll just keep it covered over a bit. Um, stops dust and scratches and things on it. So that's that one. And then I say this will have uh, dust covers on it as well. So it will be clear. And then this is the other bit to diamond paint. So this is the diamond painting bit and the rest is the engineering bit. Oh, I'm quite happy to have a go at most things. So this will be interesting to do. Okay, possibly then. Um, because it doesn't look like anything else as a hole to sort of stick this. Possibly this uh, could be um, what we use the big sticky pads on. 
maybe that's what we use those on to stick that onto something but we will see and we will get this done oh that might be the base though to stick it on that might be the base anyway so let's have a look at the drills um i can get absolutely carried away looking at this and i'm not going to i'm certainly going to treat that very very carefully because i don't want to break it and what tune it plays i wonder if we can get a tune out of it i don't want to let's just see Okay, so that's the tune it plays. Don't want any copyright strikes, although I'm sure that's a very old tune. Oh, look, it's still going. Stop it! <laughs> so that's the tune it plays. Right, so we have two packs of drills. Um, uh, to be fair, I think it's probably pretty obvious which ones belong to which, because I think this has got more of the like teardrops and things on it. So we'll look at this one first. Oh, this is really exciting. I like this. And you get 13% off as well. So do check out the special offers. But obviously with special offers, depending on when you watch the video, um, I always give you the special offers and show you like screenshots of when I'm making the video, the day I'm making the video. But obviously the offers do change. And if you're watching this in a couple of months time, then the offers will probably have changed. They do uh, put different ones on from time to time but they're usually very good right so we just need to what i tend to do with these is just say grab um like that one look number five and you can see that that's the teardrop and it looks like it's going to be red so it's an iridescent coated ready pink teardrop and that looks like that's going to match up with that and then let me just grab another color so let's look at number eight See if number eight's on here, yeah. And then these are marquees looking purple. So, yeah, purple marquees, like their look going around the edges. So, yeah, these are definitely the drills that go with this piece. So, let's have a look at the other specials. We've got marquees in this lovely pale champagne gold and then some little larger round faceted blue diamonds. Lovely. And then the standard colours we have, red, gold, blue and that gorgeous amber colour look at that just looks like an old amber necklace that i used to have many many moons ago it wasn't real it's just plastic but uh, i liked it depends what you're wearing of course so that's the drills for the mandala for the bit uh, that spins I suppose the fox will spin as well sorry it's not a fox is he it's a wolf it's a wolf i can't remember what that was from it's the wolf it's the wolf the cartoon that I used to watch. It will come to me eventually. Let me know in the comments if you can remember what It's the Wall of comes from. So these are his gems. Okay, and all crystals it looks like. Specials. Let me get into it. One day somebody will invent a bag that says open here on it. <laughs> Liz. <laughs> oh dear. Right, let's see these then. Quite a few different ones. Oh, look at all specials. I love my specials. So we've got a lovely royally blue and a nice deep red and a pale gold and a nice grassy green. And the grass is starting to go lovely and green now. It's coming up to spring. And then we've got an aqua blue and a palish pink. Oh, and that lovely amber orange again. That's not quite as deep a colour as the other one, but very pretty. And then a nice sea blue again, a pale blue, a little bit of black with a silver backing, a deeper blue, oh, a very royal purple, and then a larger pale blue in that round large. Okay, nice, nice, nice. And then our specials, look at these. So we've got the teardrops, the same as the red ones, but these are in blue, so they're not the same. But you know what I mean. <laughs> same size and shape with an iridescent coating on, very pretty. We've got some iridescent coated green marquees and then some smaller marquees, iridescent coated in silver. You just see all of those nice and sparkly gems. We do like a bit of sparkle. 
Okay, so that's all this one. I absolutely love it. I can't wait to get it done. I'm try I am doing my 30 by 40 challenge at the moment. I've got over 30 pictures on hashtag 30 by 40 DP along. So if you want to go onto Instagram and put that in the search, you'll get the uh, little like, I don't know whether they call it an album or a page or whatever, and it'll show you all the different entries. Um, into the giveaway it's just a little bit of fun uh, just to clear out with some 30 by 40 paintings it encourages me to get them done anyway <laughs> okay so yeah liking that right let me get this all put back in its box nice and safely and then we'll have a look at the next one and the price of the little wolf as well if you are wanting to know is uh, 15 pounds and 48 pence on the website at the moment so yeah i think is he gonna stick in there i think he's probably gonna stick in there on the top to be honest so it will be interesting to see how it does and the fact that it lights up is going to be very very sparkly with him being double-sided excellent okay so we'll sit him over there and he can watch what we're doing and we'll have a look at the next one so this one is ooh, oh we've got an elastic band <laughs> This one is a diamond painting, so let's see what we got. Okay, oh look, I've got some eyes looking at me. I'm being watched, I'm being watched. <laughs> oh wow, and it's another special drill. I do like my special drills. Um, my 30 by 40 challenge, I am enjoying doing some just plain diamond paintings, as I call them, uh, where it's just all your standard resin or acrylic drills and just all in nice straight lines. Well, as straight as I can get them, I'm not perfect. <laughs> but uh, I have enjoyed doing all my specials, but now um, I am enjoying doing my uh, full drill ones as well. So, but I'm saving all these up. Um, we have got uh, Smashing the Specials, I think, coming up in I think either July or August with Mindy, Mindy's Diamond Moment and Brandy Mysterio Diamond. So, yep, that will be a time to be getting out all those specials and smashing away at them. Um, I may get up, to be honest, I think I'm going to do the uh, Wolf probably before that because uh, I want to see how it all goes together and how it works. Okay, let's have a look at this one with the mysterious eyes. So we have uh, baggies, uh, pembo and wax. So that's quite nice. We've got bags in both sets. And then this one. Oh, it's all full acrylic. Oh, that's interesting. Okay. So, oh, okay. I've got the right drills. Let me have a look. Uh, yes, YG SMT 78. Okay, oh, this will be interesting then. So, this one is all acrylic drills um, with some specials added in rather than it being uh, sparkly gems. So, this will be different to do. So, we'll have like a, a more muted special diamond painted rather than it all being sparkly. Oh, I don't think I've had one like this before. Okay, so here's this lovely owl. And look at his eyes. And he's got like a lovely flower decoration on his head and on his tummy. And it looks like, oh, looks like he's got um, guards at the top of his wings. Looks like, oh, maybe that's a helmet then. Maybe he's going into battle. And we've got his claws down here. Look, sat on this tree. So he does look very serious. He's got a lot on his mind, this owl, most definitely. Yes, he's, uh, maybe he's guarding something. Yeah, he's saying, right, I'm not going to let anything happen to you. I'm going to be on guard and watch and woe be tired anybody that crosses me. <laughs> All right, let's just flatten him out a little bit and we'll give him a quick measure. Okay, oops. It's nice and sticky because he's not wanting to give up his plastic sheet. But that's fine. Okay, let's see, he's only partial. Uh, because he's like classed as a partial special drill so that means that the background doesn't have any diamonds on it i do like the pair of scissors cutting out look showing you where your cutting line is brilliant love that <laughs> and we have how many uh, 16 different gems and colors very nice yeah, it looks like there's some bigger shapes and some different shapes in this one so we will have a look and see what we've got 
Okay, that's giving him a good flat mount. Keep him under some um, other diamond paintings or books or something, and that will keep him nice and flat till we get him done. Pink tape measure's the first one that I've found, so we'll use the pink tape measure. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so, ooh, we are 10 and a quarter inches. So, is this a true 30 by 40? Uh, oh no, it's 26 centimetres, so it's a little bit bigger than some, so we're only 25 by 35. So what weight size are we this way? Okay, it's got a little bit smaller border, this one. So he's just, I think if he was flattened out, yeah, he's going to be about 36 centimetres, which is... 14 inches, okay. So yeah, he's just that little bit bigger. Alright, so yeah, that's the little picture there, but I think you can see what he is anyway. Okay, let's have a look at these gems. Hmm, interesting. So it'll be interesting to see once it's done how the sparkle interacts with the like just well I mean they do sparkle, don't they anyway, the gems, because they've got a lot of facets on so they catch the light. But they won't be sparkly like the sparkly gems. I quite like that idea, actually. <gasps> Look at all the specials. Oh, my goodness, mate. Just put those to one side for a moment. It does look like we've got some very pretty colours. So we are starting at this end. And, yeah, look at that aqua blue. That is gorgeous. And then a nice uh, pale lemony colour. A uh, very bright cherry red. And a brown colour there, chestnutty brown. A brighter sunny yellow. Oh, and a very, very pale lemon colour there. A nice fresh green. And a denim blue there, pale denim blue, washed denim blue. And uh, what's that colour then? Caramel chocolate colour and a very bright orange there. So we've got a little colour palette. Look at those. Look at those two colours together. Wow, certainly making a statement with those. Right, so let's have a look at the specials. Oh my goodness me. So we've got round pearls with no facets on, but they have got uh, an iridescent coating on. We've got some lovely ruby red um, like half spheres that uh, have no coating on, but look at the deep red colour. We've got some little red pink um, teardrops that again have no facets on and they've got the iridescent coating and we've got owl claws yay i've always called these our owl claws because the first paintings i did of owls had these as owl claws and number 13 is the owl claws down here look oh look and this one's actually gripping round oh you quite often see i suppose because he's got that foot sort of sideways hasn't he so he's actually gripping round on that uh, branch there oh so we've got one at the bottom and three at the top and then that one there okay so we've got owl claws actually being owl claws and then we've got two sizes in like an aqua bluey color with an iridescent coating on and they're like the pearly ones so they're like just a half round half sphere and that no facets very pretty wow so those blues are going to go all the way around these like head feathers there is neck feathers and this one is number 12. So they're going to go all around his eyes. Look, oh, he's going to be very pretty. But he still looks very stern. Mm. He's keeping an eye on us. <laughs> oh, dear. I do love my special drills. And I do love animals. Can you tell? Animals and birds. Okay, so we have had a lovely owl. And our gorgeous wolf. That is going to be a lovely building project to do. Well, as always, huge thank you, GBFKE, for sending me these. Uh, I love them. I'm going to have a lot of fun making this, I can uh, imagine. Um, I am going to seal it as well. So what I'll do is actually do the diamond painting part on it and then I'll seal it and then we'll have a go at putting it together. <laughs> And he's super, I love him. I might actually, because I've got quite a few different owl pictures, so I, I might do an owl theme one month um, and I just have like an owl corner and uh, have him up there. Yeah. 
Okay, well, huge thank you, as I say again, to GBFKE for sending me these. Thank you to you for coming along and watching. If you have enjoyed watching, huge thumbs up is very much appreciated. And if you've got any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. Have you done one of these lamps with the musical box underneath? Let me know how you got on with it. And any tips would be gratefully appreciated. <laughs> Don't forget to check out GBFKE's website and all the special offers that they've got on at the moment. Oh, the price of the owl is £4.41 if you're wanting to know him as well. Okay, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now.